The senior special assistant to the president and media and publicity, Garbi Shew, says there is nothing wrong in having cabals around the president, Muhammad Bukhari. Shew shared his opinion soon after, while addressing a cross-session of journalists in Abuja, he condemned the abuse of the word cabal in Nigeria and said there is no government in this country that we have had that some people were not accused of being cabal in that government and it is because every administration and every president must have a secretariat. Every president must have people who advise him. It is not a sin. It is not an offense to have people that you take into confidence. Elsewhere, they call it kitchen cabinet, but in our own country, we are being derogatory and we term them cabals so that it will tarnish their good standing. And now joining us to talk about this is the spokesperson at Tiku Campaign Organization, Shegun Shoumi. Thank you very much for joining us. It's nice us. to be here. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Your thought on this twist to the word cabal from the presidency? It's unfortunate. I think when the, from the First Lady, Her Excellency Aisha Buhari, called Garba Shewa publicly just a couple of weeks ago, I had imagined that was she like, you know, overreaching and probably being unfair to him. Now, listening to that which has been attributed to him, as far as I'm concerned, Garba Shewu has just demarcated the president, his boss. No spokesperson of a president can say that. Why? Because there's a context to which that adjective is being used around his principle. Yes, nations and other countries and even kingdoms have people that are close to the power and they call them the power behind the scene. Those people usually are appointed people or those that are domestic aides of the president. In this particular situation that Garba is trying to justify, Garba is leaving out the in fact that what Nigerians are actually saying is that his principal, Mr. President, has been hijacked, has been made to be incapable of carrying out his duty, and that some interlopers who probably are not titled people or appointed people are the ones now superintending over that responsibility as per the comments of the wife. And the first lady did also say that, in fact, the said Garuba Shewu was also perhaps in the habit, if I get her right, of carrying out instructions contrary to that which her husband, the president, has given. And she tried to say, relative to the usage of her office and stuff like that. Now, if Garba comes to public say, I could have imagined that Garba would say, oh, gentlemen, these conversations are not the way they are. My, my president is in charge of himself. He's capable of managing himself. He runs his own show. He has, you know, he is in, you know stuff to prop up the presidency. But what Garba has said is that Nigerians, yes, my principal cannot run the country. His friends and his relatives and people that have no business in his government and no title there are the ones in charge. And you Nigerians, you can call them cabal. Instead of you to call them cabal, I need to call them a nice name, like power behind the throne, and then go live with it. In my opinion, that's not how this job is supposed to be done. I think the responsibility that Garba has is to, first of all, mirror the president properly and to mirror it appropriately. And I do not really think that alluding or saying that that is good is in the best interest of the president. What? It, for me, it means that the presidency is totally broken. It has become irredeemably broken, and perhaps the president needs to take a look at what's going on around him. Um, in your opinion, yes. has cabal, do, do they exist in the context that you say that a wife is sane? And what is the implication if for it looks a democracy? Like it, if it looks like it, if it feels like it, if it sounds like it, if people that are supposed to know who are close, who can be closer to a president than his wife? Who can be closer to a man than his wife? If his wife says it is, if other people whisper it as well, then perhaps it is. If there is a disconnect in the way they carry out their functions, for instance, you can look at the presidency and you can almost finger people who get almost anything they want around the president and you can see the closeness they are to this set of people without undermining them or shaming them. 
Now, when you see all of that, then you probably say there is What is the implication exist? of this negative presentation for Adolfo I think that um, I've, been, I've been concerned about the presidency and its communication and narrative people, its spokespeople. I've been concerned about them for some time. And I'll tell you five things that have been worrying me. The first is that I've been seeing that they speak in discontinuous language. Sometimes the special advisor additionally is speaking this way, and on the same issue, Garba is going this way. And the one who's supposed to coordinate everything that is communication, Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Communication, is mooted. I've been concerned about that. I've been concerned about the fact that they approach the work of spokesperson, not from a need to explain and a need to win people over to the president, but in a manner to be either combative or in a manner to, you know, discontinence and denigrate the people. For instance, while Garba will be combative, you will always see additional say things like, oh, it's just a small number. Oh, it's just a small number. Uh, we, will, we will continue your thoughts on that in a little bit, but let's continue with some of the stories for now. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. Thank you very much. Mm. All right.